have already shuffled in. We'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll, we'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Virgo. A recent past energy between you and your person. We've got the Four of Wands and it's with Justice. Four of Wands often indicates that you could be attending a special event. It could be way more fun than you're anticipating. So go, you'll have a good time. If you have a business, it's likely to be going very well. You'll be proud of yourself and others will be proud of you also. So this is a positive card in the reading. It also shows that there could be a need for you to keep your wits about yourself. Although you deserve and should treat yourself to some fun. But just know, just know you're still probably still in a building up phase. And now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. Yeah, the Four of Wands can also sometimes mean that you could be moving or changing your place of residence. Now, it's a justice which actually deals with the idea of karma and the law of cause and effect. So, it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma because sometimes you'll be called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone you care about. So, don't blame yourself unnecessarily. Also, when you get justice, if you're directly involved with a court case, it's likely to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor. So, the recent past energy Virgo between you and your person, four wands clarified by justice. So, what I'm picking up for a lot of you Virgos is that you're, de you're dealing with someone who felt it was time. Because justice is about um, justice being served, um, getting clarity, finally some truth has come to light. Justice can be about getting what you deserve. Someone, the person you were dealing with, they felt like uh, it's time for the relationship or the connection to become a whole lot more committed. Yeah, someone want, your person wanted um, marriage commitment out of you. With this four of wands, eleven, eleven. Yeah, somebody, your person. I don't know why I keep seeing somebody. Yeah, your person. They want, they want a marriage, long term. They want a commitment from you. And with justice, with this four of wands, it's basically just indicating that they feel like it's time. Yeah, they're ready for the real deal with you. They don't want any more girlfriend, boyfriend type thing. They want, they feel like they deserve to have a committed relationship with you. They feel like it's the right thing to do. It's time. Justice needs to be served. They want the ring. So, we move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the tower, and it's with two of wands. Now, the tower can be about holding on too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster. You have to roll with changes. It's likely that some people, situations that you have counted on 
as being there for you. They may no longer be there in quite the same way. Now, this does not have to be drastic because we all know that change. Change is the nature of life's life, and if we try to prevent it, it could be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. Now, this is only a problem if you let it be. Because you can replace them with some more realistic, reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies fall apart. Yeah. Dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in a reality. Now, this tower is with the Two of Wands. With this card, it's important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can, even to the mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. The Two of Wands, it can indicate a partnership with another person. It could be business, personal, or both. Two of Wands, it reminds us to stay mindful to the give and take that's required for a successful relationship. So if things are feeling out of balance for you now, just know that they're about to get substantially better. Keep your eyes on the prize that you're looking for and stay positive. So coming up, Virgo, the tower clarified by two of wands. So yeah, wow. So what am I, what I'm feeling here? I'm just looking at this two of wands. It's the card below present. Okay. Now you see how this man he's sitting down. He's got his hand tied to one wand, but his back is to it. His back is to this wand that he has his hand tied to it. And then the other wand on the other side, he's got his ankle tied to it. He's looking directly into the eyes of that wand. And he looks content. So, yeah, your person, like I said, it looks like they're telling you that now is the time that they feel a connection should be more committed. Well, they could be wanting marriage, asking you for marriage. Because the Four of Wands is the marriage and commitment card. But it looks like you've got your hand tied to something that's keeping you from going forward with your person. Yeah, because the Two of Wands can be about trying to make a decision. There's one wand that you're, you're, it seems like you're excited about that sparks your interest because you're in that, you're looking in that direction. Your ankle is tied to it and it looks like your face is really content. You're looking into the eyes of that wand, but your hand is tied. I'm going to say to someone else, yeah, and you probably will start to realize if you don't um, offer your person commitment, you're probably thinking it's going to fall apart with a tower card showing up here. Because your person looks like they're ready for it now with the justice card. They feel like now is the time. It could be telling you now or never. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge. The challenge is Seven of Swords. And it's with the Eight of Wands. Now, the Seven of Swords, it can be about someone behaving with less than ethical intentions. If you feel like someone is spying on you, then you could be right. And if you feel like digging through someone else's life, Unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern, then you just might want to resist the impulse because we all know that everyone deserves privacy. 
Seven of Swords is with this Eight of Wands. Now, the Eight of Wands, it's showing that a lot of things could be up in the air. You could feel frustrated, tired of waiting. But this card is an indicator to be patient a while longer. You could have done all that you can do. Now, decisions, they kind of have to be made by other people. So when this card appears, nothing seems to be moving ahead. But don't try to force things because it could backfire on you. Sometimes, just know that our actions, they're all in the wrist. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. So you put your best out there and all you just kind of like have to wait. So you challenge Virgo, Seven of Swords. Yeah, seven of swords clarified by this eight of wands. Yeah, so what I'm getting, what I'm feeling is that whomever you got your hand tied to, it's not this recent past energy. It's not the person that wants commitment from you. Well, it's not, put it this way, it's not the four of wands. It's not the recent past energy. This person that you have your hand tied to, they watch you all the time. Seven of Swords is about, it, it's a, it can be about stalking. They know that you've got your ankle and your body language towards someone else. And they spark your attention. They probably get all your attention, put it that way. They know it. They see everything. You think things are hidden from them, but they're not. They see it all. Yeah, this person probably has. They they followed you. They tracked you, and you probably didn't even know it. But they know what you're doing. They know you're seeing someone else and this person that this other person you're seeing, they want the commitment from you now, not next month, not next year. They feel that now is the time with this justice card showing up here. You kind of fear it's going to fall apart with your person who wants marriage commitment, who wants the ring from you. And this person over here that you got your hand tied to, they know about it. They've been watching you and your person. Yeah, they want to talk to you with this Eight of Wands. The person that you got your hand tied to, they want to talk. They got some things to say to you. So some communication could be coming in. Maybe back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. So let's see what the outcome is. We got the death card. And it's with the ace of pentacles. Now the death card does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death because we're creatures with free will and such things. They're not written in stone. This death card, it simply indicates transformation. It indicates change. Definitely a time of deep transformation could be both internally and externally in your life. Maybe some situations, things, and people that you've counted on or have gotten used to may no longer be available to you in quite the same way. Keep in mind the transition. It can be very difficult for some people, even though the change is always nearly needed. It's nearly always needed. The death card is with Ace of Pentacles. Now with this card, you could find yourself enjoying new beginnings on several levels. 
and these would be very positive new beginnings. So you're likely to be feeling optimistic, upbeat, hopeful about the future. Things should be going well. You could be starting something new very soon. This could be in the area of work or personally, but either way, it's a good thing. Yeah. So your outcome, Virgo, the death card clarified by Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so, yeah, so, yeah, this, this is kind of interesting here. Mm. Okay. Yeah, some communication is coming in from the person that you've got your hand tied to. Not the person that's demanding the ring. The man, they're not that person. Um, the person that you got your hand tied to, but your back is to them. They see everything. They've been watching you. And your other person. They're reaching out to you. they got something to say to you. So, but the outcome, it looks like... It looks like this person... Um... The recent past energy person, 1111, the Four of Wands, who wants you to commit to them now. Yeah. That was supposed to be a new beginning. But it looks like it's not turning out to be a new beginning with the death card here. It looks like it's turned out to be a, a ending. It's turning out to be f finality. Um, yeah. So whatever your person that you have your hand tied to, whatever they said to you, with this Eight of Wands communication card, whatever they said to you, it caused you to end the connection with the person that wanted marriage and commitment from you. Yeah. I don't know what they said to you, but they said something to you. I don't know. Maybe they said... Oh. They said something to you that... I don't know. Well, I would like to know what they said. Because whatever it is they said to you, you kind of just left this four of wands in the dust. That's what I'm getting. You just left them cold. It was supposed to be a new beginning. They spark your interest. You've got your ankle tied to them. You're looking into their eyes and your body language is saying, this is the direction. This is the path that you want to go towards. But whoever this is, you got your hand tied to. They've seen it all. I don't know if it's, I don't know who this person is, but the communication came in and it changed everything. The new beginning that your person wanted with you and you with them, the four of wands, that's done. That's done and over. Yeah, so Virgo, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation and what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Virgo, thank you so very much for watching. Yeah, 
Thank you so very much. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. Stay strong. Take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next Virgo reading. Which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Yeah. Because these are general readings, dear. They're not personal readings, so you kind of have to take the reading for however it resonates. So, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, it could be a family member, or it could be a situation. So, take the reading for however it resonates. And yes, keep in mind the roles. The roles can be switched. Yes, they can be switched. You could be your person, or your person could be you. So, Virgo. I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope I hope, I hope that um, I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope that you have a great day, and I wish you all happy holidays. So take care.